Hi, uh, today I'm gonna uh, use this uh, OBD Mate 123 uh, tester to check the uh, error codes of this car. Uh, this uh, Peugeot 307 SW uh, 1.6 HDI diesel car. So it gives this um, engine management light as well. Always it started appearing. So I thought of getting one of these uh, tools to get it tested. So this is the OBD tester and this is the connector to the main unit. Simply have to take this off and connect it to the CAS CPU. <coughs> right. Now you can see ignition is on. I've already uh, set the ignition switched on but without starting you should never start it to read the error codes so now it started saying um, turn the ignition on press and key to continue yes started reading Codes found it has found four error codes. So now I'd like to get it read. So if it uh, it's gonna read it now, press enter. Stored codes. Let's uh, read the stored codes first. So then it's ask the model of the vehicle. So this is Perjo, you have to go for P. There you are. Generic, there are four error codes. The first one out of the four is turbocharger, supercharger, under boost. All right. Then the next one. Exhaust gas recirculation sensor is circuit low. Third one, AC pressure sensor circuit voltage high. IDM input circuit malfunction, ignition coil control circuit high voltage. That's it. And if you exit and if you try to read the pending codes, Yep, turbocharger, it says the same thing, generic. That's it. So now you can go back and you can do the live data test as well. So that while the engine is running, it will start reading all the parameters available. Okay, now I'm going to start it and I'm going to press the live data and then press enter. So it gives all these parameters. it so I'm gonna switch it off back again <coughs> now I'm gonna erase codes enter erase trouble codes are you sure of course oh sorry unfortunately I completely switched off it so I put it back again without starting the engine and then enter. Yes. Then 
that case I'll have to remove, take it off <coughs> and set, set the engine switched off and switch it on without starting and fix it back now let it restart from the beginning It still shows the same error codes. So let's get back to the uh, erase mode. Erase trouble codes are issue. Yep. Erase done. Press any key to continue. Right now, if you read the codes back again, stored codes. No codes. Yep. And then if you read the pending codes. Yep, that's done. And exit. That's it. But uh, unfortunately, uh, deleting all the error codes meaning it doesn't mean that um, the errors are disappeared. But still, the errors are there. But uh, it, the the engine management light might not appear. So now, if I turn it off and remove this this thing. Uh, and then try to start it back again. Now it has disappeared here. Yeah. Engine management light is no longer there. Early it was displaying there. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.